How are you? You well? Yes. Good. Do you know, I'm always conscious when I wave at the audience, right? Because I'm missing the tips of two fingers. Have you seen that? Huh. Okay, it's not a magic trick. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? See, I went to a very rough school in Glasgow. <laughs> and I lost that a game of rock, paper and scissors. <laughs> See, the Oscars, right, they give you a luxury bag. Have you heard about these luxury bags? Oh, I like the gift bag thing. And the gift bag. This year, a diamond-encrusted pen and a gold-plated mobile phone, right? Scottish BAFTAs, a Annie Lennox CD and a Freddo. <laughs> <laughs> and people always ask how it happened, and I think it's quite rude. Well, see, how'd you lose the tips? So I just wind them up. I say, oh, I got a manicure through Groupon. <laughs> So much for 40% off. <laughs> Stuart Mitchell, I'm going to bring you in. Do you have this sort of relationship with your pet, the mirroring behaviour? Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I wind my dog up so much and get it all hyper. It got to the stage my wife actually insisted I get my testicles removed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot calmer now. <laughs> and do I have a guess how I lost the tips? I sawed them off, that's the darkest answer. <laughs> I was five and I lost them down a manhole. And I, I don't mean none other guy's bum. <laughs> if you get something up your bum that can cut fingers off. I know glass readings are tight, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> a drain at the side of the road and I had a plastic He-Man sword. And I was fighting with my friend and I dropped the sword down the drain and he picked up the drain and he let it fall on my hand, I know, and my dad felt guilty because he didn't know what to do. And then he thought it was hilarious because every Christmas he buys me Cadbury's fingers and snaps ends off. Right? <laughs> Any fringe advice for Basil Brush? Oh. Well, I'd do the free fringe and I made the mistake of asking people, make sure you put notes in my bucket. And somebody put a note in saying you were rank rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Mitchell, what do you think? Do you agree with June Brown's outlook on life? Yeah, I think she can entitled to do what she wants. I mean, she's a legend in EastEnders, isn't she? I just wonder, because she's been around EastEnders so long, when she does stump out a fact, does it go... <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the only memory I've got, right, is I get rushed, quite local, I get rushed to Edinburgh Sick Kids at the time, and I'm staring at my hand, and my hand's trembling like this. And all what I remember is the surgeon burst through and he said to my dad, he went, oh, sir, please tell me you managed to retrieve the tips, the digits. And my dad went, oh, oh, gee, oh, I'm sorry, mate. I just, oh, I couldn't do it. And my mum just looked at the doctor with an evil stare and she went, oh, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> He's never lifted a finger in his life. <laughs>